Now, what if I told you there is a company that can take your own skin and turn it into an insulin producing organ? Well, you would tell me that's science fiction. Well, that's what I thought. Till we did the research, we found out what the facts are, and we have the story for you right here, right now. Thanks for joining us today. If you like our channel's content, feel free to hit the link in the description and buy us a coffee. We appreciate all our viewers who support our channel. Now onto our video. They turn skin cells into an insulin producing organ. This doesn't just look like a tiny organ, it is one. And get this, it was built from a few simple skin cells. Inside Swedish labs, scientists are now literally printing these incredible insulin producing biological machines, all with one audacious goal, to one day reverse type one diabetes. Picture this, you wake up, no insulin pen to grab, no continuous glucose monitor CGM beeping an urgent alarm, no frantic carb counting before you even sip your coffee. Your body just handles it. Glucose levels, perfectly in range, energy steady. That constant nagging mental load of managing a chronic illness, gone. That's the endgame Fluocell, a pioneering Swedish biotech company is relentlessly chasing. It's a vision of freedom for millions, a world where diabetes doesn't dictate every single decision, every single moment of every single day. So how exactly are they doing it? Fluocell's revolutionary trick starts with something surprisingly simple, a postage stamp sized patch of your own skin. Think about that for a second. We're talking about personalized medicine on a whole new level. A quick, minimally invasive biopsy harvests a few fibroblasts, those common skin cells. Then, after a few weeks in a specialized lab dish, something truly remarkable happens. Those rather boring skin cells rewind time. They're reprogrammed into what scientists call induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs for short. What are iPSCs? Well, they're basically master cells. They've forgotten what they were, skin cells, and remembered how to become anything. They possess the incredible ability to differentiate into almost any cell type in the body, including the insulin-producing beta cells of the pancreas. This is huge because it means Fluocell isn't reliant on scarce donor organs. They can create an unlimited supply of patient-specific cells. Next up is the star of the show, the BioPixlr printer. This isn't your average desktop printer. It's a high-resolution bioprinter, a robotic arm wielding a nozzle finer than a human hair, capable of positioning individual cells in three dimensions with incredible precision. Using their proprietary Nexocyte tissue production platform, Fluocell lays down these iPSCs, strategically placing them onto a soft, jelly-like scaffold made of biocompatible materials. Layer by painstaking layer, the cells begin their natural process. They chat, signal, and self-sort, guided by the precise environment Fluocell has created. Eventually, they coalesce and mature, transforming into what looks and, crucially, acts exactly like pancreatic islets. Those natural microorgans within your pancreas that are responsible for sensing blood sugar and squirting out precisely the right amount of insulin you need, along with glucagon to maintain perfect glycemic control. It's literally building a tiny, functional organ from scratch, cell by cell. Fluocell, with its BioPixlr technology, does something fundamentally different. They place every single cell with meticulous care, like pixels in a high-definition 4K screen. This isn't random aggregation, it's design-driven tissue engineering. This unparalleled precision means they can control the cellular composition, the size, and the exact placement and spacing of the cells within the implant. Why does this level of detail matter so much? because it allows them to engineer miniature islets that can properly hook up with blood vessel-like channels within the patch. This direct connection is absolutely vital. When the patch is eventually transplanted under the skin, glucose can flow in efficiently and insulin can flow out, reaching the bloodstream within minutes, just like a natural pancreas. But there's another truly groundbreaking element, the encapsulation. The entire structure of these bioprinted islets is wrapped in a nano-thin hydrogel shell. This isn't just a protective layer, it's a smart barrier. It's designed to be permeable enough for essential nutrients and hormones, like glucose and insulin, to slip right through, allowing the islets to function perfectly. But here's the genius part. It's impermeable to the body's immune cells. Translation? No more lifelong immunosuppressive drugs. This is a massive deal. 
Current islet transplantation therapies, while effective, require patients to take powerful immunosuppressants for the rest of their lives, which come with their own set of serious side effects and health risks. Fluocell's immune protective encapsulation could potentially eliminate this major drawback, making the therapy far safer and more accessible. It's about not just replacing a function, but doing it in a way that truly integrates with the body, minimizing compromami. This isn't just theoretical science, it's moving rapidly from the lab bench towards real-world application. Last quarter, the preclinical data dropped, and it was incredibly promising. Researchers conducted studies on mice, and the results were nothing short of remarkable. Mice that received Fluocell's printed islets stayed consistently within the non-diabetic glucose range for an impressive 90 days straight. Meanwhile, the control group of diabetic mice, without the printed islets, needed twice daily insulin shots just to survive. The contrast couldn't be clearer. Fluocell's initial in vivo studies have shown successful results, further validating their approach. Carolina Trikulja, Fluocell's CEO, put it plainly, with a sense of hopeful anticipation. I am very pleased to announce that we continue to make progress in our development of tissue-based therapy for type 1 diabetes. The transition to using stem cells in our implants means that we are taking another step towards our goal of creating a treatment solution that is ready for clinical trials. Our initial studies have shown good compatibility with the Nexocyte platform, and we have high hopes for the insulin secretion studies that we are now initiating. Her words underscore the significant strides being made and the tangible progress toward clinical readiness within this decade. To accelerate this monumental effort, Fluocell isn't going it alone. Breakthrough T1D, formerly known as JDRF, the leading global type 1 diabetes research and advocacy organization, has stepped in, pumping in up to $600,000 in funding. This isn't just money. It's a powerful endorsement and a strategic partnership. Breakthrough T1D supports innovative research with the potential to accelerate cures and improve disease management. This funding has enabled Fluocell to collaborate with a top-ranked U.S. medical university, pairing their Nexocyte platform with specially developed stem cell-based pancreatic cells. As Carolina Turkulja noted, this collaboration and the support from Breakthrough T1D mark a very significant day for Fluocell, underscoring the strong validation and potential of their platform technology. It's a powerful alliance designed to speed up this marathon towards human trials and, ultimately, a cure. So, what does all of this mean for you or for someone you love living with type 1 diabetes? Imagine a future where managing diabetes isn't a daily struggle, but a distant memory. Imagine booking a simple, same-day procedure, a quick skin biopsy in the morning, then six weeks later, your personalized bioprinted eyelets are shipped back to the clinic. A 15-minute transplant under local anesthesia, a tiny incision under the skin, and boom, your pancreas 2.0 is online. If you want to watch this incredible story turn from lab magic into a real-world cure, hit subscribe and drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. What would you do first on your very own No Diabetes Day? We started with a patch of skin, a few ordinary cells, and through the incredible power of science and precision engineering, we're ending with the prospect of a living, glucose-sensing, insulin-producing organ. Fluocell's bioprinted islets aren't science fiction anymore. They're in preclinical development, they're funded, and they're barreling towards human trials. For over a century, diabetes has owned the conversation, dictating terms, demanding attention, and shaping lives. But pretty soon, thanks to breakthroughs like this, we might just own the last word. I don't think the best script writers in Hollywood could come up with a concept like that, creating insulin out of your own skin cells. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Hopefully they'll move along with that fairly quickly. At least they're funded and it's more than just a concept. So we will greatly anticipate movement on their front. And uh, as always, thanks for hanging out with us today on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. We'll have another great video for you right here real soon. Have a great day, okay?